Hello there, it's a new day and God is still on his throne and God is still great and his majesty, the mountains, the skies, everything still declare his greatness. I wanna to focus today on Psalm 19. Let's read it. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after day, they pour forth speech. Night after night, they display knowledge. There is no speech or language where their voice is not heard. Their voice goes out into all the earth, their words to the end of the world. In the heavens, he has pitched a tent for the sun, which is like a bridge bridegroom coming forth from his pavilion, like a champion rejoicing to run his course. It rises at one end of the heavens and makes its circuit to the other. Nothing is hidden from its heat. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are sure and altogether righteous. They are more righteous than gold, yes, than much pure gold. They are sweeter than honey, than honey from the comb. By them is your servant warned. In keeping them, there is great reward. Who can discern his errors? Forgive my hidden faults. Keep your servant also from willful sins. May they not rule over me. Then will I be blameless, innocent of great transgression. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. God's greatness. I wanted to read the full passage so we can remember and be reminded of the scriptures that the heavens declare God's greatness and the skies proclaim the work of his hands. So nature is speaking of his glory. God's creation reveals his greatness and we are part of his masterpiece. He has created us and we are in his image and we are called to honor him with our lives. And again, we honor him because he is on the throne, not because of what happens in our lands and in our world, but because we serve a living God who is great and cares about us. Take that with you today, and we'll see you tomorrow.